So we've talked about variables and declaring variables a little bit before, but now we're going to go into in-depth on variables and variable types. So we're going to start with uh, the section 2.2 on variables, in particular integer variables. Um, so we start with a simple simulation of what a variable is. A variable is used to uh, store information in memory. Uh, so you can walk through this uh, simulation to see how we're going to store this information in memory. Um, in this simulation, we're keeping track of the number of people on a bus. And so we have a variable called number of people, and it's in memory. So this is our kind of version of memory. Lots of different things stored in memory, but we just are working on one num people. And we're going to start by storing five, of the, num the integer five in that variable. And then uh, we're going to have people get on and off the bus. Um, so we're driving them around. The bus starts with five people. Three people get on the bus. Um, so we're going to increase this, and their job is to just go through and manually do what the computer is going to do later on. So if we have five people on the bus and three more people get on the bus, we've got five, six, seven, eight people on the bus. So I can check that. So I get a first box checked. Yay, go on to the next step. Okay, two people get off the bus, so if I have eight, uh, if number of people is equal to eight, and two people get off, so I'm down to six people. So again, I can just click in this field and go through and uh, do this check. Okay, so you can go through the simulation, uh, get all five steps filled up uh, following the instructions. Now let's talk a little bit more about how a variable is. A variable uh, kind of is like a box or a storage location uh, where we're going to store some information. We give it a name. Uh, and we declare it. When we declare it, we set it aside. So here's another simulation. So we have memory out here, and we have this declaration. Uh, it starts with int, which is the type. We always start with the type of the variable. So, And that dictates how much memory we're going to need for that information. Storing an integer takes so much space. Storing a, a decimal or floating point number takes a different amount of space. So we always have to give the type of thing we're storing. Then we give it some name and the computer keeps track of that name and what and the memory address where where kind of that that name is assigned to. Um, and then we may initialize it to some value. So here we're initializing it to zero. Um, but later on when for example here the user is entering some information into the user's age. So we're saying user's age equals the next integer from the scanner. This is from the keyboard. So we're reading from the keyboard and getting the next integer. And we're storing that in user age. So user age is stored that. So you can run through the simulation. Uh, see that? Again, we walk through what uh, basic declaration is. Uh, and how it works. And then have you go through and try out some uh, declaration. So define an integer variable named num people. So just over here type in the name of the variable. Now it has to be a declaration. So if I just did that, that's not going to work. Remember, it always has to be the type. And right now we're uh, only using integer variables. Int the variable. And we can sometimes initialize it. But this time it says do not initialize it. So, And then I always need a semicolon at the end of my uh, statement. So then I can check and that works out OK. Uh, and don't worry if you get these wrong. Just uh, redo them. Get, work on them until you get them right. So go through these and try out declaring different variables. Um, now let's look a little bit more at variables and how they work. So let's look at this little uh, program. Uh, here's the input into the program, and it's a program called Age. Uh, and here's a main routine that's going to run. And it declares a scanner because we're going to read some information from the keyboard. Uh, and we declare the user's age. So this is our variable, int user's age. And it starts equal to 0. We just initialize it at 0. It's good to initialize things to 0 or to some value initially, because when you declare a variable, uh, its initial value may be 0, but it may be some other uh, non-zero value. So you should always assign it to something before you use it. So it's often a good idea just to set to 0 when you declare it. Um, OK, so we're asking the, uh, the system going to print out enter your age. And then we're going to input that age. Uh, 
and then we're going to print out uh, what your age is. So now we're going to run this. Uh, enter your age and enters 28 and is done. So now it wants us to do one more thing. Uh, we want to define a second integer variable, uh, average lifespan, and initialize it to 70. So that's what you're supposed to do down here. Uh, declare the variable. Now, we only know of integer variables so far, average. Now, we have to watch capitalization. Capitalization is important here uh, when, when working with variables. So I'm going to use the same capitalization and set that, initialize that equal to 70. And then I'm going to print it out. So I am going to just reuse this statement. Uh, I find it's very helpful sometimes to copy and paste statements. Okay, system.out.println. And what do I want to print out? The average lifespan is 70. So I'm going to print that out. But I don't want to print out uh, 70 inside the string here. I'm going to actually print out the variable name. But if I put the variable name inside uh, here we've seen that this isn't going to work. When I run this, it's just going to say average lifespan is average lifespan because that is in quotes. So I have to make sure that this is outside of quotes. Uh, and now to, oops, uh, I want to print, print out average lifespan. I'm going to need some connector here between these. So again, go through this until you get this working. You might get some errors, but work through this until you get this working, printing out average lifespan is, and print out the average lifespan variable, which should print out 70. So your job is, to, and again, you can look at past examples of how we concatenate variables to strings together in print statements. Um, we talk about some, again, what we talked about some, uh, before, uh, not memory locations, I mean variables are not always initialized, we should initialize it. Also integers have some limits. We're limited f uh, from about minus 2 billion to about plus 2 billion. So you can't store huge integers in these var variables. Now there are other options uh, for larger integers, but for the generic int variable we have to watch that. So go through these and just see what errors you can uh, pick out uh, for this, see how you're understanding it. So, uh, finally, there's a couple challenge activities you can go through here uh, to try out. Uh, and again, just declaring variables. We just here we just want to declare a variable. So again, you can just type in your answer here uh, and try these out. This one's relatively simple. I just have to declare a variable. I don't have to do anything else. Uh, and again, I have to remember to put the type in there, int numhouse, uh, and initialize it to 25. Now, at this point, these little challenge very, uh, exercises are relatively simple. Um, yeah, if I could spell things right, they'll be simple. Uh, and it'll run some tests. Basically, it's just running one test here. Later on, we'll see this run multiple tests and give us better feedback. But for now, with these simple variables, we have simple tests. But again, you can go through this challenge activity and get that working.